$100 million in upgrades has transformed the way our customers hear and see the world. With the latest in innovations, our mobile network has leaped from 2G to 4G and now LTE technology. BTC, listening, improving, delivering and committed every day. Are you a business person staying for a night, a week, or a month? Holding a meeting for your company or organization? A couple starting your married life with your wedding? Looking for vacation happiness on Grand Bahama Island? We know our happiness will make you happy. You'll see it in the smiles and the faces of our people. Our common goal at Pelican Bay Hotel is to anticipate what you need to be happy and to see that you get it. Visit our website to find everything you need to find happiness at Pelican Bay at Lucaya. Welcome back to Dare to Be Great. My guest this evening is Andretti Bain, a silver medalist in the Olympics and a two-time NCAA champion. Welcome back to Dare to Be Great. Yes, sir. Good, Good to have you here. Samuel. Before we went to the break, you were talking about becoming a standout at Oral Roberts University, becoming the first person uh, to put them on the map as, on the back, in terms of track and field. Yes. And how did you proceed from there? You won two, two, two. NCAA championships. Two. Uh, that must have been great. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay, so at that point when I made the decision that I will put all excuses aside, mm -hmm. look past the limitations, and focus on how to how to make it happen. Yes. At that point, you know, I spoke to the coach, and we came up with a plan. He said, "Andretti, I understand your passion and your desire, your dream, pretty mm -hmm. much, and." We will do what it takes to make it work. Wow, good stuff. At that point, mm -hmm. dedication, hard work, staying focused on the goal. Yes. But dreaming. Yes, you kept the dream and alive. I, I kept the dream alive. I kept, and and that's that. That's what drove me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this now this I I entered ORU in 2008. Okay. Wow. Actually, not in 2008. I'm sorry. I entered ORU in 2003. Okay. This this dream was fulfilled in 2008. Right? Yes. And God works in mysterious ways. Yes, sir. Let me tell you why. 2003, my four years of eligibility was supposed to be in, ended in 2007. Mm -hmm. Now, we went there because of some issues with declaring house, with transferring the grades or the grading system from the Bahamian system right. to the American system. They said that, okay, we were ineligible to compete our first year. Therefore, we would have to. Red shirt, red shirt our first year mm -hmm. and start the following year. Now, red shirt, and that meant that we could still compete. attend classes, mm -hmm. but we could not compete. Just attend the class. Yeah, we, so we attended classes. But you didn't compete. <clears throat> but we didn't compete. So now, all of a sudden, my goal was, okay, four years of eligibility, I will achieve this stuff in 2007. We had a, first, a personal financial planning class at ORU, every, everybody has to do it. Mm -hmm. Pretty much you set your one year, three year, five year, 10 year, 20 year goals. And in that class, I wrote out 2007, I wanna be you know, professional athlete, I wanna be a world champion, this mm -hmm. and that. You know, I had these goals, mm -hmm. I, had, I had all my goals listed. And I kid you not, I was one year behind with all the goals. Wow, that's, and, a, that's powerful. And this is how it worked out. Mm -hmm. 2007, I started every year, I got better and better. Yes. 2007, I was okay, but not national champion caliber. And then? Thankfully. Mm -hmm. Now, had I not redshirted that first year, and to me, that was a devastating blow. The fact that I had to redshirt. Mm -hmm. But had I not uh, redshirted that first year, then my eligibility would have been done in 2007. But you were able to go into I eight. I was able to go in 2008. Yes. Where now, not only did I win my two national titles in 2008, mm -hmm. but I also had a scholarship available because I had another year left of eligibility mm -hmm. for me to 
complete my master's. Right. So, you know, going off to college, the goal was track and field. During college, leaving college, I left for a professional career and I left for a master's degree. Wow, that's business. awesome. That's yes, awesome. Sir. That's yes, awesome. Sir. Now, tell us about that thrilling uh, silver medal in the Olympics, the feeling that you had. Okay. The national title set the tone for that because to be a U.S. collegiate champion, mm -hmm. that, that's one in a million, to be honest. I know after I won my first national title, uh, I was so confident that, that this is what God had for me, mm -hmm. that the summer, the summer of 2007, yes. before I went off to school, I went to the straw market, mm -hmm. I got me a Bahamian flag wow. and a Bahamian handkerchief. Right? Wow. I got those. Yes. And I told my buddy, I said, Brunel McKenzie, the mm -hmm. same head coach from St. John's, took, yeah. he came back up, he got a, he got a scholar, not a scholarship, but he got a, a, an assistant coach job at ORU. Oh, okay. Just to ensure that I would be able to achieve this goal. My coach at ORU saw the connection that he and I had, mm -hmm. and he realized that, okay, he wanted to surround me with as much positive energy as possible. So Brunel got that job for that year. And every day, Brunel stopped calling me Andretti, and he called me national champion. Wow, that's powerful, hey. Every day. That's powerful, From, from, yes. from that summer. Speak it, speak from, it. From September. Yes, speak come it. In, national champion, let's go. National speak champion, it. let's go. Mm -hmm. And when I... It's power in the spoken uh, word. It's power in the spoken word. So at the, right, the day of the finals for the national champ, for my first national championship, I had that flag. And I gave that to my coach, and I said, you hold this. Wow. When I'm done, I'm coming for this. Woo! And I crossed that line, I won, and that's yes. the first thing I did. I grabbed that Bahamian flag. Yes. So handling the pressure of that, I was able to, that, was, that prepared me for Good. the Olympics. Yes. So now when I got to the Olympics, you know, you went from college where you're probably competing in front of 10, 15,000, to now you're competing in front of 100,000. That's right, easily. Easily. And then the TV audience. Yes, then the TV audience. Yes. You know, but... The national championships prepared me for that. Mm -hmm. I knew and I was so confident in my God-given talents and abilities that I felt like this was an opportunity. Now, most people, most persons, when opportunity arises, mm -hmm. it either makes you or it breaks you. Definitely, definitely. And I felt like this was the chance that this is going to make me. So who all won that team, that, that silver medal winning okay. team? Um, myself. Yes. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Avad Monka. Avad Monka, yes. Ramon Miller. Yes. Michael Ramon. Matthew and Andre Williams. That's right. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you yes, ran. Sir. What leg did you I run? Started at, you I started. I started. I handed off. I handed off to to Michael. Michael handed it off to Andre. Andre handed it off to Chris. Yes. Um, in the heats, Avad and Ramon they ran in the first round, mm -hmm. and then myself with the other three we we ran in the finals. So with the next couple of minutes we have right here, tell us about that feeling afterwards and how you felt the elation and the joy and how did that take you mentally into being a professional athlete that you wanted to become i mean hardly anybody becomes an olympian right um you get so much excitement mm -hmm. so much fulfillment yes that you just want to share it with the whole world. I'm talking about we're, we're leaving the stadium mm -hmm. and we just want to give everybody a hug because yes. we're excited. Yes. You know, and, and this is something that is should, a lifelong dream. Yes, yes. This is a lifelong dream. Not just to make it to the Olympics, but to get a medal at right. the Olympics. Of course. That's a lifelong dream. But then it also opened our eyes how blessed and how fortunate we are to be in that position. Wow. And then it causes you to want to do more. And then yes. it gives you the confidence mm -hmm. to be able to do more and do other things. Because now you feel like, okay, if I can do this, I can do anything. That's for I sure. I mean, and the Bible says that. I can yes. do all things with Christ who strengthens me. That's a good note for us to take a break right yes, now. Yes, sir. We'll be right back after these messages. At BTC, we connect every island, every Bahamian, every day. The installation of the Next Generation Network can now bring all of our services to every customer, no matter where they call home. BTC, listening, improving, delivering, and committed every day. Are you a business person staying for a night, a week, or a month? Holding a meeting for your company or organization? A couple starting your married life with your wedding. 
Looking for a vacation happiness on Grand Bahama Island? We know our happiness will make you happy. You'll see it in the smiles and the faces of our people. Our common goal at Pelican Bay Hotel is to anticipate what you need to be happy and to see that you get it. Visit our website to find everything you need to find happiness at Pelican Bay at Lucaya. At BTC, we connect every island, every Bahamian, every day. The installation of the next generation network can now bring all of our services to every customer, no matter where they call home. BTC, listening, improving, delivering, and committed every day.